I don't call it girlfriend I just call it loving We don't wake up in the summer hi loves welcome welcome back to my channel finally yes the vlog you have been waiting for so this is a 10 day trip with my cousin to see my aunt in kenya my flight was a transit or connecting flight which meant i had to go to kenya through two or more flights so from accra to addis ababa then addis ababa to kenya i was given a hotel voucher because my flight to kenya was going to be the next day so i had to sleep over and i did at the washington hotel in addis ababa my cousin left because her flight was different guys when i tell you i was sick i'm sure it was because of the new environment and getting in touch with my family was so hard because of the network but i finally got into my room and here is a little room tour so when you come in there's the closet here then you have your ironing board and then there's um, this thing here and then yeah just the closet so this is the closet this is the full closet and then you turn around like this then this is the washroom you have the washroom here a mirror here hi and then we have the bathroom this is how the bathroom looks and then there's this thing here for clothes i guess hunger and there's a mirror here then there's two beds which i'm going to sleep on the bigger one because i want to sleep very well there's, there's a desk here there's a TV here as well. This is my bag. Um, my suitcase. I I checked in with my suitcase, so it's still at the airport. Um, I'll get it when I arrive at Nairobi. And then there's a lamp here. There's a table and another chair. Then the side table for the bed. And then there's a telephone. This is my view. So I got a room with a view. Yeah, the weather here is quite cold, but it's not extremely, extremely cold. Yeah, I'm just going to try and get hold of my family, my mom, my dad, and then I'll go to sleep or get something to eat. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
this is officially day one guys well the previous day was supposed to be day one but my flight got delayed so i arrived a bit late at nairobi so we didn't engage in any activity but for this day we went to the nairobi zoo kenya is the country of the wild because it's known for its vast wildlife preserves so even while driving you can randomly see zebras or buffaloes on the sides of the streets and it's such a beautiful thing to see I watch her climb up the top of the pole and then get sliding down. I make it rain in this bitch. I make it snow in this bitch. She trying to get out of the mix. Shawty was throwing a chick. Shawty was throwing a chick. Me, I'm supporting this shit. This is a story that came from my life and I'm just recording this shit. I I'ma just give it to you who's your head instead of me throwing this shit. So here we don't have elephants, even in the park you will not see elephants, you don't have elephants in Ruby National Park. Uh -huh. If you want to see elephants you can go to Amboseli, Masai Mara, or yeah. Because we are in the city, we don't have the elephants. But it's whipping, they ride around. I watch a pond on the top of the pole, and they get sliding, sliding. Don't have a traveling plan before, but that's just a lie. Love zebra. Daddy's not around. Mama's not around. I watch a pond on the top of the pole, and they get sliding. This was probably the most funniest part of the day. The lioness actually growled at a point and we all got so scared it was mad. And you'll see from our faces that we were actually very scared when we were taking the pictures. <laughs> then we went to see Morgan and when I tell you he's the cutest thing. Well, except for the fact that I felt he was a bit too clingy or that's what my fear made me think. But yeah, he was really cute.
for day two we visited the karen blixen museum at karen karen blixen is best known for out of africa an account of her life while living in kenya and the rest is history guys but i'm going to leave something for you guys to read more about her somewhere on the screen so they're taking three to four years to mature that's why one reason the husband of karen he lost hinges on coffee Therefore, he spent more time on the game and his palace. Mm. Because before no government, so it was just legal. But not today. Right? They can get a mess. You like coffee? Yeah. You like coffee? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Really, in the of packaging. Already. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be harder. Moreover, there is no rubber tires, one of the unique features because uh, the land here before was very much hard in the way, but not a bit of Now, can I say something about you? It was hard, this metallic seat we are by, uh, over used to sit here was Karibixen, she was not that comfortable, they normally call it an African massage. Moreover, there is no rubber tires, so it's more fun to have a massage. <laughs> Want to talk? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've told myself. No, we have more than 100 years, yeah? And even the house. Now, do you know Hollywood? Yeah. But you don't know the word Hollywood. I know you know the Hollywood. That's the old word Hollywood. Which means there's no, there's no olives. It's wild. Have you been to Greece? No. Greece. You have been to Greece? So the normal olives they are too, they are very short. A lot of olives, but it's the one. So it does not fruit olives. Yeah. So for this part, I actually started recording when we entered the house, but I was told there were no um, recordings allowed in the house for privacy reasons. But yeah, afterwards we actually visited the Karen Blixen Coffee Garden, and day two was. A very chill day. Can I pick it up? Trump, we met the mom. Hey, 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 hey. Design a head to toe. I sit to the head and float. I already fed the pole. Niggas too scared to go. Standing at the bathroom because the lighting is much better here. I think I like the way I look here for the front camera, it looks very good here as compared to the bedroom. So, you guys are going to have to stick with me. The last time you guys saw me um, outside was on the second day, which was when we went to Car and Blixen, and then yesterday. We went to the Two River Mall. Is it Two Rivers Mall? The Two River Mall. One of them, but then it's the biggest mall in Nairobi. So that is where we went to. And it was really cool. I'll insert a video on the screen so you guys can catch up with that. So that is the only thing that I did yesterday. Yes. 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 So I'm currently waiting for the month to come out but then so far so good guys so far so good the weather here is good as you guys can tell there are a lot of greens here as compared to ghana there are so many greens i mean we do have 
greens but they're not as green as this place this place is very green it's mostly very cold in the mornings like maybe 18 degrees cold in the mornings and then in the evenings too it's very cold but then during the daytime sometimes the sun will come out right now the sun is a bit out but then it's still kind of cold it's not necessarily warm and most of the houses in kenya are built like this they like flowers a lot so most of the houses are like this and it's really nice and then there was one thing i found out yesterday when i went to the supermarket and i really like that idea i know that people do that but i didn't know that they do that in kenya so when you go to the supermarket you have to take your own carrier bag and it doesn't necessarily it doesn't it has to be a particular kind you can't just take a rubber like a normal rubber bag or a tikali you have to take a, a good carrier bag so like a, a material one or something to the supermarket otherwise you won't get a bag to put your things in and i feel like that's so good they have banned all wrappers so i feel like that makes the country also very neat because um, kenya as compared to ghana is very neat so guys this is our driver mr edwin that's our driver he has been taking us around yesterday we went to the sea river mall with him and he took us around so say hi to my viewers hello <laughs> <laughs> The problem that uh, we got lost. Yes, we did get lost. <laughs> we did get lost, and you couldn't find your parking lot the first time. Me? Yes. No, you, you didn't find me. We didn't find you, but then Aunt Mary was <laughs> telling us that you also couldn't find where you parked the other time. So there's that. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. So I'm about to eat ugali, right? I said it right. Ugali. Ugali, yes. Ugali is made with maize flour, like eba, and then okra. This is okra. Wow, this is different from Ghana okra. Yes, I don't see any okra inside. Why did the okra pass? The ones for Ghana make big big. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Taste test. I have to taste. <laughs> so you're going to taste. Sorry if the lighting isn't that good. It's <laughs> how they go. Oh, okay. Ours is way bigger. You can see the chunks of okra inside. So guys, this is it. It doesn't have the exact one as ours, but then it's still very good. Yes, it's good. I do like it. I think I want more of the ugali. Yes. It's good, guys. It's nice. day five we decided to go to see flamingos at nakuru which is like the countryside of kenya and on our way we stopped by the beautiful view you guys just saw just to get a few pictures and a few items from the shop as a souvenir or a memento we didn't get to see the flamingos anyways because we were told they had a season where they came a lot 
so we decided to have lunch at Sunbed Lodge which was nearby. for brunch and i don't really want to be putting the camera in my auntie's face like that so that's why you are not really seeing much i hope you guys can understand i just decided to come here and take shots of this place and show you guys how the place looks and it's very pretty it's really pretty yeah and the food is i'm going to give the food like, like a nine out of ten from breakfast we had sushi and then i had pancakes and scrambled eggs and it was really good so the food is equally good this place is really nice so whenever you're in kenya you can pass by i think i went to the giraffe center from here so i'll see you guys later <laughs> Yeah, so I'm never 
navigate the globe as the cash grows Get a nigga whack like you get the grass mold I'm talking slick when I'm with the big slime, nigga Could hit your bitch, you could never hit mine, nigga In my DM, they electric slide, nigga No catfishing, this is not a fish fry, nigga Never switch sides to my dog Catch a contact, get your ride, go to Mars Everybody say how could you come up out your face and say I hate the hardest nigga you have never heard? I left off like a rapper's dead and bird. A verse for me is like a leather bird. It's a different method, it's like two thousand dollars every word. I'm on the purge, I beat the church. I kill some niggas and I walk away from it. Then I observe just how you curve. Then told the nigga that they got away. So guys, guess what happened today? What happened? I lost my phone. Oh. This very phone, you guys are so lucky. You wouldn't be seeing this. You would have missed out so much because I don't save my videos on um, what's it called iCloud. So it's just there you know on my is? phone. Do you know this is? Sign that one. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry for you. <laughs> 